It's SABC Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. News Network at SABC.co.za on email. After the break, we talk about the city of Johannesburg's very interesting uh, Twitter account. Um, Dumelo Komape, the man who runs that Twitter account, is already in studio to talk to us about it, so stay with us. Did you go to heaven? Kelvin is the one who created all this. What are you fighting over us? If there is 10 million in my account, uh, it will be in the front page the next day. Do you have 10 million? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, hold my hand, hallelujah. <laughs> it's happening right here on Question Time today. Monday to Thursday at 5.30 p.m. on the SABC News Channel. It's SABC Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Welcome back. Now, running a social media campaign for big organizations is a huge responsibility. One is expected to respond to complaints and compliments without insulting people. Some get it wrong. Do you remember when an H&M customer complained about the lack of black models on posters? The store responded on social media by saying its campaigns are to portray a positive image, leaving many to think black models wouldn't be seen as to portray a positive image of the brand. They got it wrong. The Nando's gets, Nando's gets it right a lot, like in its sale of cocktail strings, when they used a popular South African phrase, the right eagles. Now joining me in studio is Dumelo Komabe. He runs the social media account for the city of Johannesburg. Hello and welcome to Network, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. Now, Dumelo, before we get into that, uh, that account, what's your favorite um, social media page? My favorite? Or your favorite tweet? Social media. Favorite tweet? Um, by myself? Or oh, by anyone? Um, by anybody. Okay. Well, I think my favorite social media account would be St. Lady's account. Um, I think it's wonderful, but one of my favorite tweets that I, I've tweeted uh, is uh, shower bathing groups, hashtag save water. And the reason for the tweet was that I was, I was tweeting the messages. It was the time when we had uh, water problems uh, in the city. And so I was tweeting messages, uh, you know, when you campaign, you have scripted messages that you prepare that you're going to run with. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, you know what, these messages are not reaching anybody. You know, it's the straightforward messages, the beautiful messages, you know. Um, and uh, I was thinking to myself, nobody's retweeting this, nobody's interacting with this. There must be something wrong. It's not, maybe it's not sexy it's not enough, it's not funky enough, it's not exciting enough. Then I thought, let me get up, let me put off the script a bit and think to myself, what would draw my attention to a government account? We know government is boring or people just have a different attitude towards government. And on a Saturday on a, or on an evening, you, the last thing you, you, the last account you want to visit is a government account. You have your, your, all the sorts of account that you might want to visit and have fun with but not a government account. And, and, and the challenge is to create presence as a government account in the, mid, in, in the middle of a, of a market that is very, very busy. And you have to create, you have to be in there, you have to, to create a name for yourself, you have to be there, you have to be part of the funky, the sexy. So I thought to myself, let me tweet this tweet. Uh, shower up, I think, and it went crazy. It went crazy, and I've been using that approach most of the time to sort of be out there and, 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 and get some traction on some of the difficult messages that are sort of, what well, I'd say boring. Mm. Uh, you have to come up with strategy quite a lot when you're running the city of Joburg's accounts. Um, 
how difficult is it to come up with a social media strategy, especially when you're using Twitter? Because it's 140 characters. Nice. You can use pictures sometimes, you can use video to aid you sometimes, but you're only limited to 140 characters. Yeah, that, you know, I have to think a lot on a daily basis about the messages. But one, one thing I do is I look at the trends and say to myself, what's trending today, today and how can we leverage? And I'll get back to that point, it's very important. And, and Nando's does that very, very well. And then the second thing is to say, um, what are the messages and how do I make them funky? Of course, you go with, with the times of the day. Obviously, the tweet you sent on a Monday cannot be sent, certainly cannot be sent on a Friday uh, or, on a, or, or on a Sunday because those days are different. People are more serious on a Monday and more chilled on a Sunday afternoon. So you want to sort of uh, create two sets of uh, what messages, uh, the serious one and the funky one, chilled for Sunday afternoon. Uh, and uh, so I do that a lot to, to, to sort of make my messages uh, consumable to, to, to our residents. And uh, in terms of the trends, uh, I, I see trends as, uh, uh, as, I think of them as stadiums full of people and I have a chance to get to the podium and say 140 characters and represent and, and, and promote the city. And, uh, so, so, and so creating your own hashtag when there are trending hashtags there, uh, these are big stadiums yes. full of people, uh, it's sort of, I don't find it uh, to be a very you know, good approach when yeah. in terms of, of, of market reach, in terms of, of, of reaching bigger okay. audiences. Now, another issue, do you ever worry about offending people? Because I'm thinking there's one that you once shared where um, I think it's someone who was wearing um, a, torn sh a torn shirt. Shirts that are in fashion nowadays and you said, oh, don't forget to recycle. Oh. One was uh, driving a car with the top open and an umbrella <laughs> and you said, don't drink and drive. And do you ever worry about offending the people in the photographs and in the tweets not at all not at all um and 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 i just want to add to that uh to the point i made earlier that sometimes uh the image drives more traffic than the actual copy and i think the south african advertising industry it you know has cracked this very well and uh, most of the time they would run uh, visuals that have nothing to do with the copy and the idea is to drive traffic to the copy so um uh, to get traffic to that copy that says don't drink and drive uh, it's a boring message nobody cares about that message it's cliche nobody wants to listen to it ah don't drink and drive but if i use that picture that i used people are like what are there people who do this and then and, they want to see the copy? Why? And, because you see the, the, you see the visual yes. before you see the copy. Yes, no, that's true. Um, and how do you then remain funny and witty in a space where you probably will be getting a lot of complaints? Maybe someone has a billing issue, mm. someone has a water pipe that's burst, and yet you still have to remain funny. Uh, that one is not planned. Uh, it's, uh, and I always make sure that I'm at all times authentic. Of course, I have to, ma uh, to, to manage uh, the, 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 the digital, yes. uh, you know, my digital presence, that it is always professional, but it must come from an authentic person. You can never right. go wrong with being you. And, and that's why it's always consistent that whatever we are doing, we are doing it every day uh, yes. uh, consistently without fail. And it just seems to never end that it, it is the fun. Do why? Remember. Because it comes from... It comes from the authentic me, and yeah. uh, that's me. I give the residents All right. me. Thank you very much, Romero Gomape. And continue making us laugh on that City of Joburg's Twitter account. Um, now, this week, we caught up with Saudi Soul, a band from Kenya. It's, um, we caught up with the member of the band, Polycarp Otiano. The Kenyan told us what his favorite piece of technology is. <laughs> Uh, my name is Polika Potieno from Saudi Soul and my favorite piece of technology has to be music production. Like how it's just evolved from all the analog stuff up to now you just need a laptop and a software and you have your music because that's what I do, I'm a producer. So that's what that's what that's my favorite piece of technology. Mm -hmm.